Well, this is a bad sign. We're going downhill. It's going to be a hike today. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. There he is, the infamous AA-70Y. Dale, ready to roll. <laughs> ready to rock. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Where are we heading today? Tularosa Mountain. Tularosa Mountain. First activation, if we make it. <sighs> but if we make it. Back. Dude, this is the ham ninja here. Come on. <laughs> You're with me. You're getting good hands. You may get lost, but you're in good hands. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we're heading back into New Mexico again today. Uh, Patchy Sigrave supposedly opens today at 8 a.m. So, uh, the forest is opening back up. That completely screws up my plans. All these New Mexico summits that I had lined up is like, well, maybe I need to go do one over here. But anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to get underway. Plans we decided to do Black Ball, Black Bull Peak, um, which is also not activated yet. So uh, Dale and I, either way, we we're going to do a non-activated. This one has a trail that goes within, I don't know, about a tenth of a mile to the summit. So we'll exit and do some bushwhacking. This is hopefully uh, won't be too difficult. Looks pretty steep, but. Um, it's uh we're deep in a lot of oak ponderosa pine and pine in here um but uh nice nice little um trailheads all along this road here so this would be the third peak along this road that we've done and uh, so yeah small change of plan misspoke this one is actually i think a little bit closer to the house right yeah this is Shorter and closer. It rain must have rained up here yesterday. It's nice and wet. Kind of unexpected here. A little. Well, this is a bad sign. We're going downhill. That's going to be fun coming back up. Yeah. So which one's black bull? Maybe that one? Oh, you're not expecting me to give you <laughs> proper directions, are you? Yeah, it looks like that one directly in front of us. The downside is we have to go down this gully and back up. Lose all this altitude. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, so we just kind of got the good news here that it's not this little peak over here it's the one on the other side of this valley so Dale and I have to it's gonna be a it's gonna be a hike today let's see how this goes it may continue to be unactivated after today we'll see Gonna sketch right here on the edge of this. It's so we're going, and that's our peak over there, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be a tough one today. Oh, this will be interesting. Okay, just some quick commentary here. Um, we switched summits uh, on the way out to the operating area, and. Um, we although we've been out here a few times, it's clear that uh, we did not brief ourselves on what this whole hike looked like uh, from elevation standpoint and routing. Uh, we just went for it. There is a trail that we're following out. Uh, we both have uh, running Gaia GPS and some other things, but um, I don't recommend you do this. Uh, you should always kind of brief yourself on what it's going to look like, etc. So if you do have a failure somewhere along the way, um, you know how to get out of it um, and also you know what to expect. So. With that, let's chug on. Yeah, Dale and I are 
kind of in wonder. We've been going downhill since we left the car. Um, it's going to make for an interesting return trip. So, used to kind of leaving the trailhead and you know, going up. Neither one of us paid good enough attention to the charts. They clearly show that you got to go down, but you get lazy and you just chart it out. Forget to even look at the profile. Which would have clearly shown. So, anyway, it is what it is. I'll just hook a rope up to Dale. He can pull me up. Beautiful area though, wow. No burn. Nice lush. The ground is damp. So, we must have gotten some good rain yesterday. Scattered thunderstorms yesterday, my wife and I didn't run into anything out on uh, Wagon Tongue. This little sprinkle. But, uh, yeah. Get this activated before the thunderstorms come. We'll be good to go. Lower chance today. Brief the weather. Lows are around 50 right now, so. Uh, Dale should be able to survive overnight I'll leave him a I'll leave him a jacket if he goes down you know <laughs> but yeah this is nice another steep descent into this next canyon whose idea was this Dale yours it was not There's some wickedly big cairns along this route. And I'm not talking about the internet cairn, I'm talking about these things, rock things here. Pretty good sized ones. Somebody has some free time. Now this is the bottom, it's all uphill from here. Yeah, we're going through yeah. a riverbed, which is the very bottom of this valley. So. Yeah, so we're we're almost a mile into it, nothing but downhill. You know, when I charted the elevation climb for this this hike, it's like, oh, that's not too bad. What I didn't realize is the all the elevation would be contained within the last mile. <laughs> Whose idea again was this? <laughs> Yours. <laughs> this is kind of barren up here, as you can see, but um, there's our summit. That, that uh, bump there, but uh, this mountain to the left, we're gonna follow a ridge kind of around it. We'll drop into the valley and then back up that fella. So uh, one of the more most interesting hikes I've taken in a while, as far as terrain up and down. I'm trying not to think about the way home that last, that last mile. <laughs> Good times up here though. Beautiful country, it's been raining, so everything's greening up. Uh, it's cool this morning, but we got on the trail about seven. So um, that made it a lot. That made it enjoyable. Man, I really wish I had this shirt on yesterday. I was uh, I was hot. And I really wanted that hood over my neck. Um, by the way, yeah, I think you may have seen the video warm up Iron Mountain, and I used um, one of these, it's a Kaplan one. Got the idea from K6 ARK and uh, K6, or uh, shoot, Rex. Sorry, Rex, I can't remember your call sign, but um, yeah, these are great. Super light, uh, made for covering you up, make you run cooler actually. So, hopefully, this weather holds in. I don't think it's going to rain up here today, but we'll see. Um, we'll be activated on our way back if it does. That's uh, this time of year you need to get up here early before the thunderstorms move in, but it's forecast to be nice um, now until Monday. Much lower chance of rains. Monsoonal flow hasn't started, but we're still getting afternoon thunderstorms, so that's nice. Had a 
had a lightning strike. I was sitting on my porch a couple days ago, and I think lightning struck within 100 yards of me. I could feel the concussion, and my ears were kind of ringing. That was a big one. Um, <laughs> and a huge reminder, just I prefer not to be out in an electrical storm. Definitely don't want to be under a tree. It hit a tree somewhere. I can't find it yet. Or somebody's tin roof. All right, back to work. Starting to worry. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty steep. Talus and mixture of junk. What goes up, what goes down must go up here. I think we're getting close. Yeah. Awesome. Well, there we go. We're going to follow around just to the left of the screen here. Uh, we aren't going to go to the top, but we're going to kind of follow this ridge around, hit that saddle, and then head up to our summit there. Um, it sure looks small on this camcorder or the GoPro. I wish it, wish it was that small uh, doing it. Although it's it's closer, it's probably what two tenths of a mile, three tenths of a mile from here. Nah. Yeah. The saddle's probably a half mile. Yeah. And then up and over. We got it. Yeah. So, so far so good. Let's get cracking. <laughs> that last last time we talked <laughs> we still got a ways to go but maybe a tenth yeah, we're getting close everything looks closer that mountain's getting bigger and bigger starting to scare both of us because it's a bushwhack I think I'll be doing some serpentine up that baby all right this mountain isn't gonna activate itself let's get cracking I thought they were stupid phones and yeah, we're looking at our phones about 10 feet back there, wondering, like, where's the turn? Where's the turn? Look up, and here's the darn sign. Yeah. So we're on that uh, ridge, about to leave the ridge and head up to our summit. It's going to be a pretty good climb. Let's we'll see how Dale, what path he chooses. Yeah, you can see we're right on this saddle. You can see the curve of it right here. It's kind of nice. Anyway, beautiful view off here to the southeast. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Some wow. build-ups over there and awesome. little haze in the valley, but it's gorgeous. So, yeah, this will be nice. Yeah, looks like we got a trail. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Dale says we have a trail, so I'm good with that. Straight up the mountain. Yeah. Let's get a hike. <laughs> well, you ain't shitting. It's a hike. <laughs> We're on some very gentle up uphill now. Kind of levels out before the final push here. Very pretty with the sun filtering through the uh, trees. Uh, I think we're at about 8,000 feet now. Summit, tippy top. A little pointy thing. Big activation zone, I think. Great view off to the east here. Southeast, let me turn around. All right. Great view off to the southeast. Uh, Buried in oak trees here, so I didn't, can't get a view off the other direction. Where are you at, Dale? Over here. The summit's over here, actually. Really? Yeah. I feel like I'm above you. You are, but the summit's there. Uh, shit. You're telling me I busted my ass for nothing. All right, fuck. The summit's over there. 
about 50 yards. So I'm gonna go down and climb up over there. And then I'll start hooping and hollering again. Because I know that's what you guys all want. <laughs> Let's get cracking. Joining Dale at the Rexel Summit. Marker. Oof. Oh, I'm tired. Uh, those of you that follow me, um, if you're not following me, you should, because who doesn't want to look at this, right? Um, know that I love, you know that I love my uh, NVED random wire here uh, from K6ARK. I made so many great DX with this, so we're going to put this up. Um, I'll go ahead and cast some video of it down range here to see if it comes out here. All right, I found a nice shady spot here. Got everything set up. Let's see if I can get on the air. And get cracking here. All right, let's chase George. He's on 140619. Strap on the keyer, freshly cleaned. I cleaned it last night. Hopefully it'll be working good. Um, Get off frequency here. Unbelievable. I'm freaking tangled up today. K5DEZ on a New Mexico peak. Let's see if I can get him on 60. 5332. 
He's not there. Okay, the first five contacts are all summit to summit. That was a lot of fun, man. That was crazy. Everybody just coming up right as I uh, got on. So that was pretty cool. Um, I'm going to grab my sandwich here. Because I'm going to need the energy for the trip back. Let me tell you, it's going to be a bear. Fruit. Sandwich. I don't have to carry all that weight back. Great thing about CW, you can eat and work the radio at the same time. Well, let's see how that goes. Got my handy hotspot here. Otherwise, I couldn't chase from up here because AT&T sucks. You hear that AT&T? You suck pretty bad up here. All right, all packed up. Uh, 49 contacts, 13 summit to summits. A lot of people on summit to su on summits today. Uh, more than I've seen on a weekend, and today's Wednesday, so um, we're heading down. Dale did uh, pretty good. Um, Man, I tell you, 20 meter was just rocking today. I had a pile up that just wouldn't end. Um, I also, as you saw, uh, ran sideband. I'm gonna wanna try to do that more. And I brought my microphone, so that makes it a little bit easier. And that's just a few more ounces, what the heck. If I'm gonna hump a chair up here, I could bring my mic. But, uh, this part's gonna be a lot easier going down than coming up, I'll tell you that. Find my my uh, compadre Alpha Alpha 70Y over here. And uh, we'll get off the mountain. Formation. And uh, awesome view. Um, that is heading about uh, almost due east, really. We're looking due east, so. Uh, yeah, pretty, especially with the scattered clouds and stuff. Great views off here. Look to the northeast. I don't know what that is up there. I think that may be Kamado or something. Not sure. Anyway, pretty summit. Uh, it's very enjoyable. It's not too rocky up here, so uh, it's made for easy uh, hiking. Lots of pine needles and stuff, so it's nice and easy on your feet, too. We'll head on down. Got some thunderstorms off to the northwest of us. Pretty big bangs over there. After the other day on my porch, I make me a little nervous. Middle of that saddle between the two mountains basically drops off each each to the right and to the left from where we're standing. So that uh, picture you saw earlier. That's where we're at. 
So we're just heading back and we got some thunderstorms moving in. It'll be interesting to see if we get dumped on. We'll have to stop and put our shells on. Feel good though. Cool air would be feel nice. We have rain uh, due west all the way around to the east. So the uh, weather whisperer up there thinks we're going to get wet. Yeah. A little downpour over there heading right for the mountain too. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Good. That's going to be zapping the mountain soon. Yeah, we're, we're picking up a little bit of stuff here, but uh, so far so good. Looks like Virga in front of us. Looks like a, that's a pretty big cell right there. Look at it. Yeah. Nice and flat. Yeah. Outfitted with the uh, rain whatever on the pack and on my body. We got the uh, weather whisperer down here working on his pack and we're just out fitting for wet weather I think it's going to get wetter good, good call putting on our jackets that was like one second out one fifth of a mile Whew. You think it's going to rain today? Okay, we're picking up a little bit of hail. Whew. It's going to get wet. Yeehaw! And when you have one, one second between flash and thunder, you know that baby's close. Yeah, there was a couple of close ones. Yippee ki yay. Yeah. I'm glad it's not pouring right here. Yeah, no kidding. This stuff is turning to mud immediately. We think there's a little bit of clay in this. Gets it going. You can see it, but yeah. Ooh. Nice bolt. We gotta go back up this thing. Yeah. That's crazy. Whose idea was this? Yeah, whose idea was this? All right. Now for the fun part, we get to climb another mountain to get back to the car. We're at the bottom of this canyon, and it looks like when the rain, when this thing starts running, she runs. Had there been a cloud burst up above us, this might have been interesting. I would definitely would have sent Dale across here first. With me on your shoulders? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. All right, back up we go. All right, headed up. Very peaceful, quiet. From the bottom of that gully, we've climbed 588 feet Whew. and gone one mile. <sighs> Which isn't bad. 500 feet a mile isn't bad at all. We'd do that all day, but we'd already kind of shot our energy bars going up the other side. So some hikes you have to climb to get back to the car. Beautiful hike. Oh man. Real pretty up here after this rain. We got pretty well dumped on. There's some big darn drops coming down. But it moved right through in about 10 minutes. Yeah. So. It's funny too, because we thought, well, let's get our jackets on so they're ready. And put the rain flies on, the packs. And then I thought, well, I might as well put the jacket on. I won't zip it up. Shoot, it wasn't two minutes later, it just started pouring. It's perfect timing, huh? What do you think, Dale? 
I think that was a tough one. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I would love to do that next year. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, it is a good one. It's a hell of a workout because that last, um, you had to go uphill 653 feet from the bottom of that gully there, that wash. So, and a, and a mile, a little over a mile to the get back to the car. So that makes it, you know, a lot of times you just kind of give everything. You get to the top of the mountain, you know, you're just going to kind of walk down. Not this one. We knew it was going to be tough. Um, but yeah, good time up there. And uh, okay, before we close this out, I wanted to jump into mail call. So um, I got a couple of cards in. Uh, the first one is from a Alpha Bravo Zero, Bravo Mike, Gary Rupp in Cherokee, Iowa. Now this is cool because this card is actually uh, for the summit that we're watching right now. Uh, he's got a pretty cool card too. It's uh, showing the space shuttle up on the, uh, getting ready to launch there. So definitely love that. And uh, Gary was using a ICOM IC7200 uh, run at 100 watts. So ground mounted vertical. And uh, he says uh, 73. So it's got the signal report, etc. on there. Um, on a previous summit in New Mexico, uh, I made contact with Alec in Slovenia, uh, Sierra 57 Sierra, and uh, he sent me a little a cool QSL card. And it says, uh, Thanks, Chris, for the fine soda QSO. Wish we can make it again for another soda summit. Good health, DE Alec. Thanks a lot, Alec. And uh, if you haven't gotten one yet, you should be getting one of these for both you guys. Um, I enjoy doing QSL cards. It's, it's fun. So anyway, with that, we'll cut back and uh, close this thing out. Thanks for watching. Uh, I guess we'll close it out here and say 73. Roll the credits. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to smash that like button because it makes my ego grow bigger. If you want to see if that. If that's possible. If, yeah, if possible. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks welcome. from the peanut gallery over here. All right, let's get cracking.